hello children welcome for today's biology class so today we are going to study the chapter fundamental unit of life the continuation of the chapter the topic going to be covered are nucleus prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell so first let us study regarding nucleus so it is the largest and the most prominent structure of the cell actually when you observe so all cell know they contain only one nucleus but some cells they can have more than one also generally one nucleus is present in one cell okay so it is present more or less in the center of the cell okay and sometimes so during in mature cell so due to some other so other growth features and all so it can be pushed towards one side of the cell also it governs the cell so that's why you call that as the controlling center of the cell that is governor of the cell it is surrounded by a layer of membrane double layer membrane that you call that as nuclear membrane and the membrane no it has pore called nuclear pore so important parts of nucleus that is nuclear membrane nucleoplasm chromatin network that is chromosome then nucleolus now you see the diagram of nucleus so can you see the prominent feature in the center of the cell okay the surrounding membrane no so that is nuclear membrane and you can see some small thread like structure that is chromosome that is chromatin fibers and in the center there will be nucleolus also okay these are the prominent features of prominent structures of nucleus so first let us study regarding nuclear membrane so nuclear membrane it is a double layered membrane it separates nucleoplasm from cytoplasm so the cyto the, the fluid like structure seen inside the nucleus you call that as nucleoplasm and here outside from nuclear membrane to plasma membrane so you can see the fluid like structure and these fluid no that is cytoplasm so here you can see the cytoplasm and nucleoplasm okay so the fluid structure seen inside no that you call that as nucleoplasm so the nuclear membrane it has small pores and it helps to exchange of materials between nucleus and cytoplasm so actually the nuclear membrane it disappears during cell division next is nucleoplasm the fluid which is present inside the nucleus is called nucleoplasm it can be known as karyolymph also it is a gel like dense substance that is present within the nucleus and the thin chromatin material okay the we, we observed no the thin fiber like structure that is chromatin material that is chromosome and nucleolus are present in this nucleoplasm so chromatin network or chromatin material it can be known as chromosome also they are thread like structures so during cell division so that organized to form chromosomes okay they Uh, can they become condensed and during that time you call that as chromosomes and these all are made up of dna so that is deoxyribonucleic acid and proteins are there dna is the master molecule it controls all the activities of the cell the functional segment of dna you call that as genes the genes it controls the characters actually you are resembling your parents and grandparents how do you resemble because the genes are transferred from one generation to another generation that is the hereditary material okay so one chromosome mean in a single chromosome many genes are present and the chromosomes you call that as hereditary vehicle so that's why it transfers the character from parents to offspring nucleolus that is the spherical structure seen inside the nucleus you call that as nucleolus it is bigger in size okay and when it is actively doing protein synthesis it is bigger in size and it is more prominent in non dividing cell also okay it contains large amount of rna protein rna is ribonucleic acid and large and a small amount of dna also mostly it contains rna and small amount of dna and what are the functions of nucleus it helps in the maintenance of the cell it helps in cell division and it is needed for inheritance of characters from parents to offspring also and it controls 
various cytoplasmic activities so from here children so sometimes diagram of nucleus can be asked and different components of nucleus sometimes it can be asked in two mark three mark questions and apart from that functions of nucleus separately it can be asked in two mark questions also okay so it is important for three mark five mark questions and even two marks also it can be asked can you see this is the nucleolus and this is the fiber like structure that is chromatin okay and here can you see the outside membrane there is double layered membrane so that is no nuclear envelope and the light purple color structure what it is given fluid like no that is nucleoplasm okay so now let us see the cytoplasm cytoplasm is the fluid substance it is present inside the cell but outside the nucleus okay outside the nucleus but inside the cell we call that as cytoplasm so here when you observe there is the larger region mainly it is the, mostly the all cell know they contain cytoplasm and it is comparing to other structure it is more it is transparent semi solid ground substance and here only in this we can observe cell organelle that is organs of the cell cell organelle that is mitochondria chloroplast ribosome all are present there only okay so we'll study in detail that and water is the main component of cytoplasm and it contains fats proteins carbohydrates and other organic substances also it helps in the exchange of materials between cell organelle cell organelle they are the organs of the cell okay exchange of materials for that purpose it is helpful and mainly for different type of reactions like glycolysis there is breakdown of glucose to give energy so all the it is the site no the site of the chemicals all are seen the seen in cytoplasm and cytoplasm it sometimes it it, it it actually takes very little strain that's why when you observe it is lighter in color when you are straining no so the cell when if you want to see under microscope you have to color that by using the strain so the cytoplasm it takes light strain less strain only it is taken so this is no cytoplasm and this is nucleus these all are organelles mitochondria okay it has been drawn here simple diagram to show the uh, this plasma membrane and cytoplasm nucleus okay so simple diagram to explain different structures of the cell so now let us study what are prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell so here uh, on the basis of different character let us categorize so first is size so the size of the prokaryotic cell no it is small and eukaryotic cell they are large so main difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell so that is regarding the nucleus so actually when you observe in case of prokaryotic cell so it is they don't have well defined nucleus means nuclear membrane is not there that's a well defined nucleus cannot be observed the region where the chromosomes and all lying know that you call that as nucleoid so here eukaryotic cell they have well defined nuclear membrane and you can see the nucleus also clearly it is the main difference between the prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell you should not forget children and these differences it can be asked in three mark questions two mark questions like that so chromosomes no they are single and circular chromosome you can see in prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell more than one and linear chromosome long chromosomes are there membrane bound organelles that is mitochondria chloroplast what you call that is it is absent in prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell it is present so cell division it is simple cell division so here mitosis meiosis both can be observed so already told you regarding nucleus they don't have true nucleus here the nucleus is present ribosomes it is smaller in size and scattered in cytoplasm so here bigger in size and attached to endoplasmic reticulum okay and sometimes freely also present in cytoplasm also so example for this prokaryotic cell that is bacteria blue green algae they are coming under this category means lower organisms then eukaryotic cell plants animals fungi all are coming under this category simply if the nucleus is present nuclear membrane is there membrane bound organelle is there you call that as eukaryotic cell 
when they don't have well defined nucleus you call them as prokaryotic cell okay so here it is the prokaryotic cell it is the eukaryotic cell can you see the well defined nucleus here there is no nucleus but the nucleoid region you can see you no know, purple color in the center nucleoid region and you can see various organelles in the cytoplasm here there are no organelles okay only ribosomes are there the ribosomes are loosely present here it is attached along with endoplasmic reticulum and loosely also we can observe it is small in size it is larger in size so like that these are some differences between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell this very repeatedly asked question children so we have to learn thoroughly the differences so here once again the different diagram it is showing regarding prokaryotic cell this is prokaryotic cell it is eukaryotic cell so now let us study regarding the differences between plant cell and animal cell so plant and animals know they have well defined nucleus means they are coming under eukaryotic cell so here now let us differentiate between plant cell and animal cell in plant cell the cell walls are present so here cell wall is absent plastids that is chloroplast and the colored plastid is present in plant cell and absent in animal cells so here the vacuoles are large here vacuoles are small or it can be absent also in plant cells no cilia and flagella are absent they are projections okay what you can see outside so the small projects cilia are long and countable in number sorry uncountable in number so flagella cilia are small and they are uncountable and flagella are long and countable okay so it is present in the case of animal cells and it is absent in the case of plant cells and centrioles they are absent in plant cell and present in animal cells they are mainly uh, for the spindle fiber formation during to so cell division it is much useful it is present in animal cell and absent in plant cells okay so this is also one more important question the differences between plant cell and animal cell so repeatedly asked three mark questions or two mark questions in your exams okay children so learn these differences thoroughly so we will meet in the next class so today we are concluding up to this okay children thank you